Hello everybody, it's Miss Baxter. As you see, I'm in the classroom and we are going to be doing an experiment. We're still working a little bit on force and motion. Um, we're gonna talk about something uh, earlier today, but here is an investigate lab. You will find this lab in your book on page 17. And it wants, it talks about, uh, can you describe the motion of an object? And, and one of the words that we're gonna talk about is predicting. Predicting means that you can think before something happens what's going to happen. So, to as an example, I can predict if I drop this um, book that it's gonna fall on the floor. That's probably an accurate prediction. It's not gonna go up in the air. It's not gonna fly around the room. It's gonna hit the floor. So that's what we do in science. We do some predictions. So because it's been very, very difficult for me to show you some of the things that we've done I'm going to do this experiment and then I'm going to play it for you later. So here we have three balls. They all look different. There's a golf ball. Look at that. It has holes in it. You see the little divots in it? This is a sponge ball. Can you see how I can squeeze that? And this is one of those bouncy jack balls that bounce real high. So what we're going to do is, I have this bowl here. I may need Miss Silver's help for this one. Um, would you help me, Miss Silver? I want this. Well, we're going to predict what's going to happen with each of these balls. So in your mind, what's going to happen? I'm going to drop each ball in here, into this bowl, this bowl right here. When I get ready to do that, Ms. Silver is going to pick up the computer so she so we can actually see what happens inside the bowl. So this is just a regular bowl, plastic. Okay, so we're going to predict what's going to happen if I put this in here. What will happen if I take the spongy ball and drop it in here? And what will happen if I drop this little ball here? All right, so we're going to, oh, that's beautiful, Ms. Silver. I feel like I'm a magician <laughs> and she's my wonderful assistant. So here is the golf ball and it's crooked, but that's okay. You, you'll get the idea. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Let's try that again. Oh, you see that it dropped and it rolls a little bit. Is that what you thought would happen? What about this one? Do you think the same thing will happen with this or do you think something different will happen? All right, ready? Wow, let's try that again. Cause sometimes what scientists do, they do it over and over again to see if the results are consistent. Consistent means the same. So let's see. Okay, did you predict that would happen? All right, here is our third, that little tiny ball. Oh, let me try that again. I have to tell you, that one surprised me. That's not what I thought this ball would do. So, we can put, the, put that down. Thank you to my wonderful assistant, Miss Silver. I know you miss us all. There we go, yay, <laughs> we're back together again. So, I, I don't know if you have bowls. Well, I know everybody has a bowl at home. But I don't know if you have uh, three different types, sizes, weights, and I'll say density. Density means how heavy something is, how, how, um, just how, I'll say heavy just for this purposes, because it means a little bit more. So I want you to try this at home, and then we're going to fill out on page 17 on our uh, Investigate Lab. How can you describe the motion of an object? All right. We're gonna do this um, in class, but as a scientist, you can always do more. Try it, see what, what happens when there's two balls, three balls. Will one ball affect the other one? Will they all do their own thing? What do you think is gonna happen? Put on your scientist hat and let's see. Thank you for your time, we'll see you later. Bye, say bye Miss Silver. Bye.